uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video hi friends uh, i'm here with another exciting video uh, you can see uh, in our previous video uh, we did implement this home page with a product list right so in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to implement search functionality, right? So then uh, user, you know, uh, can search a product from product list and only display those product on this space, okay? So what I mean, uh, let me add more products and then show you what we are going to do, okay? So here you do see we have multiple products, right? So the users want to search product with rice, right? So what it's going to do, uh, it will going to get the, it will going to get the key word from this search box and then list out all the products that contain this key, okay? So what it means if I type rice here, right? And click on search, so it will only display product with rice keyword okay uh, let me click on search right so you do see we only it is only displaying these two item and these two item has a rice keyword right so let me go ahead and implement uh, this okay and then show you how how we are going to achieve this so let's go ahead open our visual studio click on stop right so what we need here uh, we need a keyword from user, right? And then we use this keyword to load the product and send this product to our view page, okay? So here I'm gonna type a string, search by name, okay? And I'll put it as null, it can accept null, right? And in our home page view model, we need to have a properties I'll put this property as a string. Keep the name search by name, okay? And then go to our index page. And then in our index page, we have input right here. I'll put this input ASP for, right? And then here search by name. So when we are submitting this forum, right? It will capture the string from this input and save it over here right and resend back to our index uh, uh, index action function to our home controller right so here what we are going to do we'll go ahead type if copy this put it here not equal to null right and if it is not equal to null what we're going to do copy this line here on the top Okay, and then I'll copy this as well here, right? And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna remove this line here. I'm going to type here db dot products dot where product name goes to ef dot functions dot like product name comma I'll put dollar sign here double quote I'll put percentage sign here and then bracket and then the name that we are receiving from user put it over here right and then get the list here to list i mean if this keyword contained in our product name it will list it down under our product product list uh under our product list okay so what what this line is doing uh this line is getting all the product right that contain this name all right, and then if this is null, I'll put else condition here. Okay, in our else condition, I'll go ahead 
add this line here okay so if search sorry this should be serc search right change everywhere copy change everywhere right so what we have done here we are getting the string from user and checking if that string is null it's null or not if it is null it will go here if it is not null it will go there right and then listed out the product uh, which contain this keyword okay and then send to our view again so uh, let me go ahead run this so here i only have uh, two product right uh, let me add one one more product here so i'll go ahead create a product i'll put this product name is price this okay select the category fish i put from the picture right i'll cho i'll choose picture from here as we know we can upload multiple picture okay click open we add five files here put the price 399 quantity 10 click on create and we do see our product got added over here right you can also see the list of the picture that we added for this product let's go back to our list go back to our home page here we will search a item with fish okay so since we only have one item right it will only show over here click on search now you do see only hilsha fish is loaded okay uh, let's say if there is no item right and then click on now you see it's showing now so now it will show all the products from here okay um, uh, if you have not seen my previous video for this home page uh, you can go ahead and please uh, view my previous tutorial and then you know uh, you will easily understand how i did build this home page and then also build this search functionality thank you see you in the next video thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share like and subscribe the channel thank you bye